Hey guys, since I now bought the tripod for my camera, I figured I, I'd just really quickly show you how to make these adapters for SO8 parts to use with a breadboard. And this time I used manual focus in the camera, so hopefully you can see this clearly. So to start off you can use uh, two types of prototyping board. Um, the one with uh, only the holes in it or the strap board and you just cut off 4x4 four four pieces obviously for the SO8 parts when using uh, the strap board be careful to remember to cut um, the straps in the middle between your IC pins or you short everything out. That's a mistake I made first go. And then, and then I just like to use a ruler and my trusty Victorinox knife and just scrape in the middle between these pins as deep down there as you can go and then you'd probably be able just to break it off like that so next I take four of that You most of the time just have to sacrifice one row of holes because that's where it breaks preferably. And I'm just going to use my pair of glass here and break it right there. And though this is now my base material I use. So these are the next things I need for the adapters. This is just to hold my piece of work in place while soldering. It's just a kind of, just like Play-Doh. You can buy this for exactly this purpose. It was formerly used to uh, clean printing stencils. Um, I'll go look it up online where you can buy those. It's really interesting stuff. It's pretty heat resistant. And then um, I just take the standard pin header and break off two pieces of four each. And I just put this through the holes here and the other side just make sure it's pretty straight down so you can put it into your breadboard easily afterwards and to solder it I just push it in here and I don't need any third hand or something okay solder whoops get my trusty soldering iron just get the sponge, a bit wet here, put it down there, clean the tip, maybe you hear it sizzle, and just solder away each pin, push it down a little further, oops, one, just fixing the other side too, There we go. And make sure there are no <coughs> shorts or bridges in there. It looks okay. Up. Gotta put it up a little. I made a sort of bridge. I'm just gonna 
reflow this real quick between here. Perfect. And next is to get our SO8 component. So now I got my SO8 part right here. And the best way to solder it on is to bend the four outer pins upwards and try to do this on camera. You can mostly bend those once if you bend them too often they'll just snap right off so be very gentle while doing this pretty hard to do this on camera actually I've not tried this before on camera Oop, two. turn it around dropped it, nice and bend the other two upwards. There we go, just like that. And the other side. Just like this. And then your part sh should look something like this. The two middle ones normal and the four outer ones up. Okay, now it's time to solder them on. Just put this flat down and if you put your part on there you can see the inner two just fit pretty neatly in between the outer pins right there and there so I just gonna oops that's a little fiddly actually but that's what's fun about it else nobody would do something like this I just hold it in place with my pliers and remelt Reflow the solder. This side first. If you're pulling up the soldering iron onto the pin, it reflows pretty good. So, I'm making a shade on the camera. And my soldering iron just turned off. Up. We started it. Just going to get a little bit of the really small solder right here. And I'm just going to reflow that on here. One. And two, other side again, one, and two. I just have to turn this around. Okay, so the inner four pins are connected now. I'm sorry I soldered that off the camera because it was just too fiddly to get right under the camera. And now we connect the outer four pins. I just use standard solid core wire, took the isolation off. And now you just tack that on to the outer pin like this and bend it over till it touches uh, the bent up pin right up here. And then I love to use this really thin solder because you can just control very good how much solder you're gonna flow on your weld whoops a little bit more and it dropped off <laughs> just for the camera okay again take it on right there blowing on it cool it down that's life folks 
I'll take this out of joint. And now, just snip it off right here. And turn it around just to get the next. I hope you can see this. Tack it on right there. And solder it on there. And there we go. Snip it off. And the next side. Oops, wrong wire. And you see this is actually pretty quick. If the solder joint takes and flows good first try, you can actually do this in under a minute or so. All it takes a little practice making this on camera is different. Heads off to everybody who does this for a living. Just like Dave Jones from the EV blog. He makes really good videos. So if you're into this kind of stuff, try watching his. Okay, bend it over again. And set it on. There we go. And that's about it. All four pins are connected. Looks like a little spider. I love it. And you can just put it into your breadboard and use it if, even if you only got the SMD parts. Okay, if you like this, please subscribe, rate and comment. Thanks, see you next time.